Hey guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for Smallville Special issue uh, issue five, and this is a Harbinger special. So it came out in digital comics first, of course, and then um, was printed. So it's the whole Harbinger story in one comic. Smallville tends to do this, uh, diverge from the uh, season eleven stories and tell uh, their universe story with uh, different characters like Titans and other stories that came in the past. Uh, but yeah, I did not get this printed because my store did not have it, so I wasn't able to get Smallville special printed, but I do have it digitally, and before I start talking about Smallville, I want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic You Know, episode 58, and that's the show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show, and here are those exclusive comics. We got, um, Super Secret Crisis War, issue 2, Armor Hunter Harbinger, issue 1, Outcast, issue 2, Detective Comics Annual, Issue 3. The Wake, Issue 10. Guardians of the Galaxy, Issue 17. And Future's End, Issue 13. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know, Episode 58. Also, tomorrow, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, I will have a Q&A if I get to 5,000 subscribers. If I don't get to 5,000 subscribers by tomorrow, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, I will be moving it to Sunday, 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. So either of those two days, check out my Twitter and Facebook and my subscriber count to see what day the, that Q&A will be. Though you could ask me questions, I'll answer them for a special 5,000 subscriber show. So be sure to check that out. Uh, let's talk about Smallville Special Issue 5. Um... I was really looking forward to this because I love Smallville I, I, in this comic book and what Brian Q. Miller has been doing with the series. I think if you missed the pre-New uh, pre 52 but you want to twist on your characters, read Smallville. It's such a great book and doing things that the TV show wasn't able to, like bringing in Wonder Woman, Batman, and putting a new spin on all these characters, making it fit into the Smallville universe. So if you're just a Smallville fan or a DC fan, I think you're going to love this book. And with this issue, if you are very excited about the Constantine movie, uh, TV show, and also maybe um, you love Just League Dark, you might actually really like this book because you get to see Zatanna and Constantine team up. Uh, they're going against this cult who follows Trigon, which we all know has to do with the Teen Titans. So, they have to try to defeat Trigon. They, you know, have some laughter between each other, start to learn a little bit more about each other. And by the end, spoiler alert, we get to see uh, that this girl was being uh, kidnapped to be part of this whole ceremony to bring Trigon back. And that little girl joins the Titan team, and her name is Raven. So I thought that twist was great. I love that twist, and I thought this book was great. I loved it. Uh, I Again, I love what Smallville's been doing with uh, our characters that we know and just putting a spin on it. Um, Zatanna, definitely a character that we know and love from pre-New 52, teaming up with Constantine. Um, we see that in New 52, but I think Zatanna's been changed so much that she's not really Zatanna. And with this, it's truly Constantine and Zatanna uh, teaming up. What would it actually be to, for them to team up if it's not the New 52? Uh, so I love that. I love their chemistry between each other throughout the whole issue. And again, that twist really made the issue for me. Um, having Raven be that girl being sacrificed, uh, I didn't really, I mean, I kind of saw her come Coming, but it's like, oh my god, it's Raven, it's Raven, it's Raven. And I, I just thought it was a perfect twist. They did the same thing with Miss Martian, having a great twist in the story also. So if you're looking for some great twists, like in shows like Arrow and this stuff, check out Smallville. Such a good book. Again, chemistry was great, story was great, art was great. Um, I'm going to give this four and a half. So close to being my pick of the week. I really was. There's three books that are so debatable this week. I literally was sitting there for a good five minutes. I'm like, which one should be pick of the week? I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, I gave this four and a half stars. Loved it. It was such a great book. Please, please read Smallville if you're not. And this is a great jumping on point. So don't worry. If you've never seen the show, you'll understand this if you just love Constantine and Zatanna. So totally recommend it. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic You Know. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic You Know and the Rant Situations. And don't forget to like my Facebook page. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.